our video kicks off with a mind-blowing fact about summer, it's not the same for everyone. Yes, you heard it right. While residents of the Northern Hemisphere experience their warmest season during June to August, those in the Southern Hemisphere experience summer from December to February. But why is this so? Hold on to that thought, as we will reveal the answer towards the end of the video. If you've ever noticed that days are longer during summer, it's not your imagination. Summer days are indeed longer because the Earth's axial tilt results in the sun appearing to be higher in the sky for longer periods. This is also why we experience so much heat during the sunny season. Did you know that an average full-grown tree can consume around 100 gallons of water per day? During the hot summer months, trees and plants play a crucial role in maintaining the Earth's temperature by absorbing the excess water and releasing it into the atmosphere as oxygen. The term summer originates from the Old English word summer, which eventually evolved into the Middle English summer, and finally into the modern English word we use today. However, every culture has its own word and traditions associated with this warm, vibrant season. Everyone loves the long, sunny days of summer, but they also provide the perfect condition for thunderstorms. The heating of the Earth's surface causes the air to rise and form cumulus clouds, leading to local thunderstorms, especially during the afternoons and evenings. Reminisce about those delightful days spent at summer camp. Summer camps bring joy, lifelong learning, and memories. They have been part of American and Canadian culture for over a century, and their positive impact on child development is widely acknowledged. Moving on towards our food habits, summer is the season for some of the most delicious fruits. Yes, the delightful mangoes, strawberries, and watermelons we relish are summer fruits. They not only satisfy our taste buds but also keep us hydrated during the hot season. Speaking of hydration, it's crucial to note that our bodies can lose up to a quart of water through sweat on a typical summer day. This is why drinking plenty of fluids during the season is of utmost importance. Now, coming back to the question posed earlier, why do different hemispheres experience summer at different times? It's all thanks to the Earth's tilt. When the North Pole tilts towards the Sun, it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere and winter in the Southern Hemisphere, and vice versa. So, wasn't that a fascinating journey into some delightful summer facts? If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, or leave a comment below. Stay tuned for more such interesting content. Thanks for watching.